Good afternoon, guys. Before I start this video, I want to give a thanks to all viewers who have bumped my videos up significantly. Uh, on the Google Fiber first day, or slow on a slow day, that video has over 20,000 views, and the, the Google Fiber first day has over 10,000 views. And I want to thank you guys for all those views and getting my videos out there and sharing them with the world. Um, today we're going to take a look at Google Fiber's new test equipment. This equipment will be rolled out slowly to the user base of all the Google Fiber customers. Um, right now I've been using this equipment for a few months now and it's been a, a love-hate relationship. Although the updates that they've been rolling out have significantly improved the performance of both of these devices. On our right, here is the, the new network box. The network box previously was a network box and then a storage box that were separate. They decided to go ahead and combine these boxes. And now a, a new feature that they added was a uh, 802.11ac capability. So, and it's three by three also, if you're wondering. That's, that's about all the specs that I have on it. It's 802.11ac capable and it's three by three. Um, it does provide a whole lot faster de uh, download speed, but they're still in the 200, 250 range up and down, so nothing great. Um, I have a Netgear R6300 and it gets well over 300 and 400 up and down on, via Wi-Fi. So I believe this particular uh, device is only 802.11 or AC1200 maybe. It's definitely not uh, a full AC1300 megabits. Um, On to the new box here, the new TV box. It's a little bit chunkier. It's more squared off to resemble the Network Plus box. It is also 802.11ac capable. It has uh, pretty slow speeds on it. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's uh, the speeds are probably comparable to a AC 450, I think. Um, but it does bring along uh, M the new HDMI MH MHL 2.0. Um, what does suck is that it is going back in times and when I say that I mean it is no longer gigabit Ethernet on it. It is only one one hundred. So that sucks in my opinion and it's really slow on that aspect. I'm gonna pause the video and we can take a look at the new gigabit fiber jack. Okay right now we're behind my computer desk and we're looking at the new fiber jack. The fiber jack is power over ethernet, meaning there, you know, the power comes from the ethernet cord and it no longer needs an AC adapter, but there is one provided. Um, that's about it on what's new with the fiber jack. All right, this will conclude my little quick video. Um, once again, I want to thank everyone for viewing my videos. If you like this video, please share it. Uh, comments on anything you would like to see. And uh, thanks for viewing. You have a great day.